Another uh, edition of Lunchbox. Today we have a special guest with us, Maggie Esty, who works at Gallery Connections, and we're going to be talking about some upcoming events. Uh, Gallery Connections has just reopened in a new location at the uh, Chestnut Complex, and uh, have been they've been really busy uh, promoting and doing events uh, for the local community and the arts. Uh, Maggie, thanks for coming. No problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so uh, you've been, uh, uh, I guess on the way over, we're discussing some of the upcoming events. It seems like you guys are really busy over the next month. Um, what are some of the events coming up? There's something actually coming up Monday, uh, July 26th. July 26th, we are hosting a very loud show with the kind of hardcore type music. We're hosting Mets from the Toronto and Ottawa areas uh, because they're on their way to Safi Fest um, happening in the last weekend of, of July and uh, kind of supporting them are Union of the Snake from Halifax and Fredericton's Two Piece Empire. So now that that's happening on Monday, and uh, does it, how much does it cost to go to that event? It's eight dollars. Uh, eight dollars. Yeah. Okay. And it's an early one too. Okay. So in the time, what was the time again? Uh, doors are at seven, mm -hmm. and our shows are, are pretty good in the way that they tend to wrap up rather early, ten, ten thirty, eleven. So you can hit anything else that's maybe going on that evening. I know Metal Monday is happening. Another Sappy Fest act is being hosted at Metal Monday at the Capitol, followed by Orchestra, and and Dia Johnson's going to be there as well. So they're going to be playing later, like in the night, so they can catch both of them and sync up their times. Yeah, it's going to be a huge Monday for Fredericton. Wow. So, and, and also you have uh, an artist talk uh, July 29th. What's that, what's that all about? We have an artist in residence right now. Her name mm -hmm. is Suzanne Keynes. Uh, she works uh, from out of Halifax. Usually she teaches at NASCAT, and she's doing these film installations. Uh, her current exhibition is called Romantic Gestures, where she um, gets strangers, sometimes, sometimes professional actors, sometimes just amateur actors and sometimes people she just finds in parks gets two of them gets them to recite lines from romantic movies to each other and then she just films it and all this awkwardness kind of ensues so we have all these film installations going on there and she's going to be talking about exactly what she's up to yeah, yeah, <laughs> on, yeah. on the 29th that's also at seven wow that's pretty exciting uh, and actually uh, uh, after that, you guys are like the next night. You have yeah. uh, the trick, uh, and uh, we just had Pat on the show here uh, a couple, I guess, last week, uh, and that's the CD release. Uh, tell us a little bit about that show. Uh, well, for one thing, the new album's awesome. Mm -hmm. I've heard it, and I, and, uh, I think the trick's doing something really, really unique here in the city. Um, it's going to be another doors at seven type of thing. We're trying to make it affordable for people. We haven't quite hammered out what the cover is going to be. We're thinking it'll be maybe seven dollars just for cover, uh, possibly fifteen dollars for cover and an album. Mm -hmm. um, but that's something the trick really wanted to make it, you know, affordable. And also, I forgot to mention our shows. Um, the two shows, Mets on Monday and the Trick on Friday, are going to be all ages, wet, dry. And uh, that's that's really huge. I, I know in, in Fredericton th that's kind of rare. You can't always pull that off. I mean, a lot of the venues we have are bars and whatnot. But like, we really want to be inclusive, and we want to get you know younger people in and, and seeing music. So I think that's we think that's super important. No, that's cool. Yeah. So and then you have uh, oh, uh, also Gary Flanagan. Sorry. Oh right, sorry. Yeah, yeah I forgot yeah, to mention yeah, that. Yeah, talk about that. Gary Flanagan from St. John is is a crazy another electronics electronic performer from from St. John. Um, Gary hasn't performed in Fredericton in four years. So this is huge. Like it's a very theatrical performance. He's got a really great sense of humor and he's actually got, you know, some chops as well. Like I like his uh, I like his songwriting style and I, I really like his uh, his compositions and stuff like that. So that's gonna be great. It's gonna be a really interesting, entertaining show to watch. Yeah, well, I th that sounds like a, an exciting night for a lot of people because the trick hasn't had an album in four years, and yeah. it seems like it's going to be uh, a pretty big event. And then you have this. What well, tell us a bit about this community improv choir? Ah, uh, community improv choir is another surgery series um, initiative. Surgery series is like um, it's kind of an, an attempt by by us and, and different people on that that particular committee to get more collaborative experimental art happening yeah. so like we for example like we've been uh, we've been involved we've been in collaborations with the New Brunswick Film Co-op something they've been looking at is maybe shooting films and then having live scores performed yeah like, I'm working on that actually yeah yeah so like so yeah I'm doing a, a piece uh, that I that they're gonna do improv too which will be yeah. really interesting because when you're cutting 
uh, like in the editing room, usually I cut to music. Even if there's no music uh, in the scene, it just helps me with rhythm and pacing, like yeah. to make sure that's there. So it'll be interesting. Like I did a, yeah. a piece that I cut that to Portishead uh, Third, like oh, one yeah. of the songs on yeah. that album, and uh, and it was uh, it was called uh, the Rip, and I love that song. And I so I cut to that. So I'm really interested mm -hmm. to see how the artist will yeah. take that, which was my motivation to do the cutting and see what yeah. they come up with on their own without knowing. Yeah, so and, and kind of neat. that's what Studio Series is all about, like collaborating and like, you know, maybe sewing things together. Maybe that's what the name comes from, Surgery Series. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> the Community Improv Choir is something that's being headed up by a local awesome type, Joel LeBlanc. Every Monday, starting on August 2nd, we're, we're hosting this free open to everyone, all levels of experience or inexperience, like choir session. And it's an opportunity for people to maybe learn some stuff about group vocal composition. It's also a, a good way to get out into your community, meet new people, always nice, you know. So yeah. that's, that's another cool thing we have going on. And then on August 5th, uh, there's the Culture Call. Yeah, the, the citywide Fredericton Culture Call. Well, actually, it's, it's mostly like a, among downtown. But that particular night, we're hosting two joint openings. Suzanne Keynes, who's doing the, uh, the artist talk on the 29th, she's opening um, new Romantic Gestures films, little short ones that she did locally with, uh, with people that she found around uh, maybe Officer's Square. <laughs> I was with her one day. She just got a stranger to like, <laughs> do, do like a romantic line with somebody. Uh, my sister and I are actually in one of the films. I play a man, she plays a woman, but we're both wearing dresses. <laughs> but anyway, like there's that opening. And then uh, Fredericton Pride is opening an art exhibition in our brand new, soon to be renovated gallery space. It's actually being renovated today. Uh, tentatively, it's called Gallery 1922 because there's the, uh, the flagstone from the old original chestnut uh, canoe factory, like right oh, yeah. there on the wall. And uh, we're, we're, it says, yeah, like without a uh, formal name because we're looking for sponsorship, but Fredericton Pride is putting an art exhibition in there. We're staying open a little later than the other venues on the crawl that night, so uh, we're going to be, it's going to be a bar. Usually it's a bar. Well, and, what's uh, the date on that one? Oh, sorry, that's August 5th. August 5th, yeah. Yeah, and uh, we're also going to be hosting some music, probably DJs. There'll be some dancing. It'll be a sexy night, I think. Well, that's really cool. And, and like, the... Um the culture crawl, like it, it's it's one of those things in the community that a lot of people have done over the years, where you just kind of go to different venues, and then you're hoping that people do you, are are people going to end on your at your. Uh, that's that's our hope. Like if we stay open a little later, and also we're kind of far away, right? Like who's going to want to <laughs> walk from downtown all the way to the Chestnut Complex and then walk back downtown? Sadly, I did that in the nineties. Oh no. <laughs> when the bar was open. Oh yeah. yeah <laughs> so so I was going to ask uh, now the. Uh, you have a lot of stuff going on, but one thing that people don't know a lot about is uh, that you know you have a new location. It's re, uh, you know, it's been uh, renovated and uh, and changed around. Can you explain a little bit or, uh, about what that process has been like? I mean, it's a great space. I've been in. Yeah. Well, know. I mean, it, unfortunately, Gallery Connection has been a bit of a, an organization in exile ever since the flooding happened in yeah, the right. old Justice Building. Yeah. Like we were, like the Playhouse is very good at like kind of putting us up in like a little temple temporary location there. Um, it was it was a hard process, like finding a space that was, we looked at a lot of different places, you know. And uh, then we came up with, with this, you know, this, this particular space. And I actually think, in a way, I've, I've been saying this lately to people, like the more time I spend in the gallery and the more work that continues to be done on it, I think that flooding was like a blessing in disguise. Because it's an awesome facility we have now too it's the entire gallery has a capacity of about 200 people and we have a, we have a performance space which is something that we we couldn't have dreamt of before standing room capacity of 110 people it's in a basement it's really cool like people aren't going to be getting all overheated <laughs> down in there like that's one thing i really hate about summer shows um and uh, it's it's a really easy place to sound as well, and it's just a cool environment we can afford to have. Uh, we can have shows that are early. We can have all ages shows. We can have wet dry shows, which is which is you know huge. Like we just we want to be very inclusive, and also uh, we want to provide an alternative venue. Um, it's it's been a while since there was. A, I remember Bugaboo a long time ago, and for a time there was there was Vixens that kind of filled that role of like maybe hosting louder shows, for example, like maybe more hardcore music, like punk music. And also, I don't think there's really been a lot of opportunities for perhaps more experimental. 
at Sappy Fest in Sackville, which is yeah, something which, which is, is really impressive. The yeah. lineup is really great. But it's more experimental, and I feel like five years ago, like when that started, it was very small. I've been every single year. Mm. That that's a very artist-run type of um, event, and because like Struts, the Artist Run Center in Sackville, is very involved in that, um, and they've kind of brought less mainstream acts to to New Brunswick as a whole and I, I feel like it's really benefited you know culture in general and so what we want to do is we want to provide a venue for places that might not be able to get a spot at like the Capitol we love the Capitol you know and and I, I'm there all the time we definitely don't want to compete with the Capitol at all um, but, but the Capitol's looking for uh, you know a, you know a, a certain demographic yeah. and stuff so I mean it's a, yeah, it's a different group and yeah. I mean uh, I don't think it, and also I think it's healthy competition too to have yeah. some uh, at least like you said like on the Monday you pointed out when you're having Mets play uh, then you have uh, right afterwards you you know you're, you're Lullaby promoting Lullaby Orchestra exactly. and B.A. Johnson that's the Monday right. and, that's, uh, and that's at the Capitol so I, I mean you can cross pollinate you know it doesn't have to be one of their oh efforts, exactly so. well it's you know this collaborative spirit that we're trying to, to promote here in Fredericton you know lots of varying lots of different things that maybe people wouldn't ordinarily see but like integrating it with with other people. Well, you know, uh, one of the things that I noticed too is that there's a lot more bands that are coming through the area because a lot of people don't make money off their CDs anymore. They That's make money true. off the touring. Yeah. And I'm seeing bands come down here that would never have come down. Like Wolf Parade was like yeah. just here recently. That was huge. And, you know, you're getting bands that are quite well known on the international front, but they're not necessarily well known uh, in Canada as much as yeah. they're internationally. Yeah. And, uh, which it happens a lot. I mean, uh, with a lot of different acts. And, and uh, so a lot of those bands, I really hope that you're able to get, like, you know, um, I mean, some people would look at the at bands like Arcade Fire, which are pretty massive right now, but there's a lot of smaller bands that I would love to see come around here, like mm -hmm. uh, Stars, or although the Stars yeah. are pretty big, but... Stars are big now, yeah. yeah. Are, they played The Cellar years ago. Oh, did they? Years I've seen and years them twice. Ago. They're amazing. Yeah, yeah. I saw them live in... Uh, sorry, we're getting... Yeah, but, they're, but, they're, but, they're, but the, the thing is, there's a lot of yeah. these great indie bands, and also a lot of great bands that are from this area too that are that are making music as we, we said so this gives yeah. a venue for a lot of people like uh, that are doing stuff that's a little different off the mainstream I know the trick like when I was talking to Pat he mentioned that he was really into LCD sound system and a lot of uh, different uh, acts or different bands that uh, have influences on him that aren't necessarily on the radio around here so I mean this is something for a lot of people that listen to music they have a place to go and I think Gallery Connections is going to open up a lot of doors for a lot of people I think that's definitely our hope yeah that's exactly what we want so now with the space uh, uh now you're mentioning people could rent the space. How, yeah. how can people go about that? And I mean, do you have to? Does it have to have, go through a production committee or a committee or some sort? Well, um, obviously, we kind of have to be a little bit selective uh, yeah. with like the types of events that maybe we have hosted at Gallery Connection. But uh, a, a lot of people, a lot of organizations, a lot of com companies around town are kind of looking at it as maybe uh, like a funkier type of place to hold a reception you know and uh, and also they, they want to support the arts so they put up the uh, the rental money I'm gonna level with you if you give us three hundred dollars <laughs> you can have it almost any night you want. <laughs> we're trying to you know we're trying to cover these renovation costs and stuff like that we still got you know some 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 expenses to cover and whatnot. But you know, but that's a that's a that's a great thing to do. I actually think that's a great idea for a lot of like local businesses. If you want to do something that's a little chic and something that's mm -hmm. a little different, and uh, you you know you could bring some catering in there and have yeah. people look at the artwork. I mean, that space is really nice. And then actually during the summer, it's actually probably cool too. It's really nice. Yeah. it's lovely to work in a basement all the time. <laughs> I'll let you guys know. But it's a great venue, and I, I really think people should check it out. And I I think that you don't have to be necessarily in the arts community to use that space no. I mean, you like know. that's the thing it's it's called an artist run center mm -hmm. and that can kind of turn people off because oh artist run center center for artists not necessarily like we have uh, we have memberships for students we have memberships for people who are simply just interested and want to help out maybe want to join a committee and maybe help 
help me plan some programming, you know. If you want, if there's something you want to see in Fredericton, join the gallery, come down, see us, maybe get on the programming committee. It's not hard. <laughs> like we, we need some help, and we'll, we'll listen to you. We'll listen to, you know, arts initiatives you want to, you want to bring in. So, so for people that do want to contact, what's some of the uh, contact information on the website and maybe a phone number? We have, uh, we have galleryconnection.ca, and, like, we have a, a different spelling. Connection is spelled C-O-N-N-E-X-I-O-N. Some people still don't uh, really know that. Like me. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> uh, and uh, also you can, you can reach me directly, um, events at galleryconnection.ca, and then there's a general email, like, inquiry type of, type of address. It's connects, C-O-N-N-E-X, dot nbnet, dot nb, dot ca. And really, email is the best. <laughs> it's the best way to get a hold of us right now. Yeah. So, so over the summer, you have quite a bit of stuff going on. And I, do you? What some of the like? Maybe you guys have some ideas of. You don't have to give us all your secrets, but yeah. I'm curious to see what you're thinking about doing for the winter months. Is there anything coming up that you're that Maybe. you can say? Or? Yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. I have a huge membership drive funded. Uh, Funded, sorry, that's a Freudian slip. <laughs> the funds on the mind, but I have a huge membership drive plan for the fall. Uh, what I really want to see are some younger members. I mean, not that we love our older members, you know, of course. But I, I, what I really want is is for like younger people, like teens, even to to know that like we're here for them, and you know, they can they can see us as maybe an outlet. They can they can see us as a a place to learn. You know, maybe that sounds boring. No, not really. No, it's <laughs> please, not. I'm pleased to learn. Well, actually, one of my uh, great, uh, really good friends and someone who is, is really talented, Michelle Guitard, started at the film co-op when he was 11. Yeah. And, he, and now he's become, like, an incredibly mm -hmm. talented director of photography and editor. And Children are know, our future. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, a lot of these people, they can, a lot of young people. They're they have to know they're people. welcome. That's right. Yeah. And, they, and this is, like, for me, when I was a kid, I never even knew I had any kind of artistic uh, interest until someone actually kind of showed me the way and, and this is something that maybe people can young people can go and kind of interact and ask questions and yeah, exactly get an idea that you can empower young people to create mm -hmm. so we're planning basically as many all ages shows as we can um, also we're, we're looking at, at partnerships with uh, you know this is a university town and I know there's a this kind of a, a burgeoning fine arts program at st. Thomas University there are all these uh, we, we have a small press fair mm -hmm. also planned for the fall. I, I believe it's in October. We have a lot of small press going on here in the city, like uh, Syllabus Anonymous, for example. And uh, uh, St. Thomas has a, a literary journal. They started up just last year called Stuart. And we we think we can we can maybe collaborate with them, get the kind of get onto the the small press train. You know, we like we like DIY, you know, that sort of thing. We want to we want to foster that type of that's, that's, you know, it's another genre, right, that maybe is, is uh, burgeoning. Like, I'm using that word a lot today, burgeoning. <laughs> it's, it's developing. It's, 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 uh, it's seeing some, some advancement in the city, and we just want to help that along, I think. And you just made a good point. There are a lot of students that are coming from other areas uh, to a campus soon in the next few weeks. Uh, people are going to be kind of coming back and getting ready to go back to school. Uh, you, you did mention that there is some programs, uh, possibly a relationship to tie-ins with St. Thomas and stuff. But for, do you notice there's a lot of if there's a lot of students that are from away that take advantage of gallery connections, or do you find it's more local, or do would you would you like to see more students like uh, coming into the area? For, I guess you would. You always want to see more yeah. students for sure. Um, but uh, I, I'm finding as we as we open up more, it's more kids coming in from away because maybe they are familiar with their artist run center in their hometown mm -hmm. in their home city and they they know what artist run centers are there for you know I, I think one thing we really have to get out there is, is what our purpose is and what our mandate is you know like I said earlier artist run center does not necessarily equate 
center for artists and and also there's there's this there's a spirit of collaboration there's a spirit of inclusivity and there's also a, a spirit of like experimentation mm -hmm. you know so well you know I, I think that uh, you know you guys have been really busy I know I've been running into you guys a lot uh, on Facebook with people saying this is coming up or that so there seems to be a I'm, I'm inundating people <laughs> I'm getting like my my aunt is just like I'm never going to come to this I'm <laughs> I'm old and I don't live in Frederick and I'm like I'm sorry everybody who knows me is going to get a Facebook invite to something going on a gallery connection but, but you know that the, that kind of grassroots kind of social communications uh, is, is fantastic because that's how I'm getting to know when things are happening good well, it's true. Their community around here is very eclectic and, and, and uh, very interdisciplinary, and people really seem to like each other quite a bit uh, in terms of uh, you know supporting each other. And now I actually know when things are happening, uh, as opposed to a few years ago when I'm like, oh, I wish I would have went. Like now I have no real excuse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't know what I'm quite saying there, but I. I Thank God for Facebook is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, for only that reason. I yeah, would say. really. Uh, but anyway, uh, that sounds really exciting, and you know, we're really happy to have you on here, and, and hopefully, uh, over the next little while, we'll be able to uh, have you on again and discuss some more events that are coming up, and maybe uh, you know, we, we uh, on the show love having different artists, and you can point them up this way, and, and we'll interview them on the show, and hopefully, we'll have uh, a couple people coming up for the show on J July 26th, this on Monday here. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we'll keep ourselves. Uh, in contact. So uh, thanks, Maggie, for coming in. Thank you, Tim.